so what's some tips to help people live their best Ooh, lives? Ooh, are y'all ready for some tips? Oh, oh yeah. My God. How many people feel like they're living their best life? It, okay. See? And that's not I everybody. Do. So you guys keep me working, okay? So the first thing is to know who you are. I just spoke about that, okay? okay? Now, what I mean by that, it's like, what are your core values? What makes you tick? What makes you happy? I know that there's a lot of parents, a lot of caregivers, a lot of entrepreneurs like myself. Just yes. life. You're busy. You're consumed. So no, taking the time to know who you are, to know what you like and don't like. The foundation of all relationships starts with you. Mm. So if you don't know who you are, if you don't know what you like, oftentimes we look to other people and to external sources. That's not the way to go because that only makes you more confused. So right. I just always start with that. What makes you tick? And so that's one. OK, you ready for number two? Number two. <laughs> Okay, I just talked about caretakers, and I know a lot of them, and I have a lot of them as clients, mothers, parents, um, even in some cases, family members who care for other family members. When you have, sometimes we get filled up, we get consumed, mm -hmm. and you don't know that you're burnt out until you burnt out. Like, you might kind of say, okay, things are kind of mundane, or maybe, you know, life is just not giving me that spark that I need. So my tip, I love acronyms, APP, assess prioritize and plan, okay? Now, it's not rocket science. I didn't make this up. I did come up with the three, yes. <laughs> with the three letters. So assessing, when you think about every hat that you wear, right, you write down, if I'm a parent, this is it. If this is my work as a family member, write everything down, all of the things that you have to do. Prioritize, okay, what is the right now goal? What is the right now need? What needs to be done right now? Because sometimes when, when the cup gets filled, it just starts overflowing. You don't have room for anything right. else. So prioritizing those things. I like to color code. I say, hey, clients, let's do what's number one, two, three, and then planning. Planning your work, working your plan. So it's like handle all of those things in priority order. And even though it might feel kind of like mundane to write it out, you'll start noticing that burden lifting. Yes. So that's what I love to do. Number three, you ready? We're number three. <laughs> okay, because I could do this all day long. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to contain myself. We want myself. you to. Number three, setting healthy boundaries. Okay? <laughs> setting healthy boundaries. Yes. But guess what? There's a lot of terms that we use, like self-love and healthy boundaries, but very rarely do people kind of get underneath that. And I honestly lead with self-boundaries, healthy boundaries. Your yeses are your yes. Your noes are no. People will treat you how you treat yourself. Yeah. And so often, I'll just use New Year's resolutions as a goal. Sometimes clients will say, oh, I want to start, you know, I want to start working out. Mm -hmm. Or I want to, you know, stay home more often. But then the minute that, you know, life pulls or something pulls, then you dishonor yourself the minute that you say, you know, you don't keep your word. So if you have to keep your word to yourself. So tip number four, mm -hmm. cultivating healthy friendships and healthy relationships. Now notice I use the word cultivate on purpose and I'll tell you why. So often people, and you know how you have like your childhood friends or yes. your friends from back in the day or even a family member, you kind of can take for granted like, oh, they're in my front row. I like to use a theater as an analogy. They're in my yeah. front row. So you just kind of like, you don't have to put in the same work, but that's not true. So I deal with a lot of clients sometimes that struggle in singleness. And I'm like, you know what? Relationships are classrooms. So you don't just all of a sudden fall in love and learn how to communicate. <laughs> you don't all of a sudden fall in love and know how to ask for what you want. So guess what? Our friendships provide us that opportunity to speak up. Or guess what? To confront, to challenge something. If you see some, you know, someone you love and you have, you know, have some truth to tell, Speak it in love, but you gotta speak it. You gotta you speak just it. Because you just don't, you Because yeah. that's healthy love. It's healthy love. And a healthy it's, relationship. And we all know, and I'm not gonna mention no names on this beautiful, happy place, but we all know what it's like when people don't have truth tellers around them. Yeah. You can just tell, you know? I'd rather you tell me the truth. Period. Hello? Okay. I, let me know. Keep yes. me together. So, yes, cultivating those relationships. And honestly, it builds confidence as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the more that you, you know, own, you know, what you're feeling and be able to communicate, then you feel more confident when you make your own choices. So that has been something that's been a real staple. And then, are you ready for the last tip? Yes, we are ready. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't do much without a snap. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> the sister and the girl. <laughs> um, so number five would be make intentional time for Y-O-U. Make intentional time for you. Intentional, okay? I'm I am snapping very, too. yes, I'm very careful with my words. Words have power. So intentionality is everything. And I'm going to say why as well. The number one thing that people don't realize, I mean, we get on the airplane sometimes and they'll say, you know, put the oxygen mask on yourself before you. That is... That's it. That's the fundamental rule. So when your cup is empty, how can you pour out of it? When you are 
you know, busy and caught into even, you know, the most successful people to those that are kind of like trying to find their purpose. At the end of the day, if you don't say in a week's time, that I like to say, set a daily time for yourself. But if you don't do that, then you can't honor anyone else. You can't give from the whole place of yourself if you're just giving yourself the scraps. So just setting a date with yourself. If it's five minutes in the morning, okay, mm -hmm. just with you, let it be done. And I guarantee it But that's help. needed it and is. necessary. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.